Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it's time for more of the 15th anniversary long run where I am playing for the third time. Tomba. So last time a lot of things happened. Uh, we are currently at I look at my sheet here. Uh, 52 events discovered and 27 completed out of the 130th game. So now we'll uh, just kind of play it by ear because like there is a lot of things to do in this game. Oh yes, also we are we are of fire at this point. Correct with this? Yeah. I, I kind of forgot what the um, what the interact button is. <laughs> Fortune teller has returned. Seal mushroom. Vicious mushrooms. There's a lot of kind of mushrooms. Contact the nearest mouse, residents of Bacchus Village. You're welcome very much. <coughs> Now, let me just review my items here. I would have thought that I had like a bucket. Uh, no, I have a bucket. I don't have a bottle. I probably can't just use the bucket to carry the wine. Alright, I think this takes us back into the mountain. Sure does. I wonder if this fire ability can take out these, uh, it can't, but at the very least, they can't hurt me when on fire. Were you here before? Oh, right, you're looking for pants. That jump looks makeable. It also kind of feels like I shouldn't be making it at this time, but here, here I am anyway. Hey. Oh jeez. Hmm. There we go. I don't know how I grasped on like that, but uh... Funga? What's a funga? I mean, fun funga could mean mushroom. Um, probably not looking. I if you're near a mushroom now.
Well, hopefully we'll figure out what Funga means later. Oh, jeez. That is... That is an ask. That is an ask for which I will say I'm putting a save state here. Because I can just run under you? Okay. Hmm. I, th I feel like that's probably doable while the storm is happening, but again, feels like I probably should be waiting until after I get rid of it. Oh, dang it. Pitui. Oh sure, like I could friggin' see you there. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, this area. Not particularly friendly. We could, could probably deal with a bit of a uh, chill out of time, let's be real. And for some more precision jumping in the wind. Oh, jeez, what the? There's a door there. Okay, well, I want to go in the door now. That just spits me out here. A large keyhole. Alright. Okay. Okay, this is ridiculous. Come on. Producer looking guy guarding this place. Well, so you're under here lies a, a thousand year old treasure chest. There's supposed to be something very, very special in here. I've entrusted it with, uh, I've been, been entrusted to guard with my life until the person with the thousand year old key shows up. A thousand year old man's helped me plenty of times, so I try to return favors now and then, you know? Precious treasure chest? And yeah, I, I did not mark off um, a large keyhole because we kind of save stated out of it. Precious treasure chest, there it is. Oh yeah, we. I know, shut up. I was thinking, well, don't we have that key? No, we have the 100 year old key. Oh my goodness, that just bumps me right back to the start. And then I died. And I can't really... I can't really save load, I like state load out of that one, because uh, that is a completed event. 
somehow. to know that uh, that unequipped the fire gem off, off of me, so... I'm gonna re-equip that. again. Oh, I do remember seeing over here. Be very careful, because there's a hundred-year-old chest there. Ah! Dashing pants. The pair of dashing pants. And there is a lock chest here. Apparently I've decided to commit to this path. Good to know that uh, those those flowers also cannot affect me while I'm on fire. I'm guessing, oh jeez, I'm guessing that the dashing pants are not the pants that uh, Charles is looking for. I did want to check this door, which if I had known that the other door was just going to take, oh my goodness, this place is on fire. The fire pig bag. We can't go any further because of the flames. It's so hard to get to to get here. Yeah, I know. Why don't you try to put out the fires? <laughs> Just kidding. I know it's impossible. Aw oh, shucks. If we weren't outside a cave, uh, if we weren't inside a cave, maybe the rain could help put out these flames. And by the way, I found this on my way here. Do you know whose they are? In any case, I have no use for them. Here, you take them. Okay, so we have Char uh, Charlie's pants here, and we also have uh, the fire pig bag. Okay, now I am ready to take this door that takes me back to the store. Let's go return the pants. You know, when I, when I came to this Stormy Mountain, I didn't think that I'd be coming out of it with two pairs of pants. I really would like to have that apple so that I'm not a death store. There we go. Hey there, Charlie. Oh, I found them.
And I'm not even gonna put them into the community soup. <laughs> hey, where'd you find these? Thanks. Now I can get up and go home. No, wait. Here, take this. It's the least I can do. Bunky parasol. Just equip yourself with it and it'll automatically open when you jump. The parasol will slow down the speed that you fall. If you press the down directional button, you can increase the speed of your descent. If you catch the right wind, you can maneuver yourself to a good spot. Got it? See you later. That actually sounds really good. And so now we just have a parasol stuck in our butt. Which is actually not that good for this area, at the very least. Uh, I need to get off of this here so that I can put this away. Actually, why don't I just ring the 100 euro bill? While that's loading, mark off Charles' pants. And now I'm just kind of considering my options. Because there is a lot of them. Uh, I still need to get some uh, green experience, of green and blue. Back down to one health because this is just that kind of game, apparently. Oh, wait! Actually, let's, let's go back. Now that I have the funky parasol, I might be able to get that, that, that pink puff that was over that ledge. Or, you know, die. One of the two. Oh, geez. Oh, thanks, friggin' random dewdrop destroying my life. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put on the parasol now.
not what I was trying to do, but hey, it worked out. I should probably try to throw these guys in such a way that they'll actually hit something and I can get some AP out of it. I think the pink puff is over here. Yep, I that's definitely something that I interacted with. Not at all. Yeah, this does make jumping a little cumbersome, but also, like, there's a lot of difficult platforming in this game, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna keep this, uh, this parasol equipped for as long as I can. I think uh, we had a goal here. And we need to use the um, the death fruit juice. I don't know if we need to use it on bees. So now that I have the death fruit juice, because those used to be uh, intangible. find all five of them. And there's three left. And this parasol should at least help to make it more tolerable. Because I uh, am under the effect of. Oh, there we go. There's the last one. All fruits of death crushed. The fruits of death have died. Okay. 
And also, I am no longer at the edge of death myself. to go out the right side of the screen. Ah, please. I think ultimately it doesn't really matter if I'm in the laughing or crying state. Um, it will be relevant for me to be in at least one of those states so that I can uh, open some doors. I think there is a laughing door on the mountain, too. There definitely is one. Um, over at the Haunted Mansion. I wonder if, like, since I am currently under the effect of the, the laughing mushroom, if I talk to you, I'm gonna laugh at everyone. How's the wine? Let's see if we can find- oh, jeez. say it does feel pretty good to be able to get like a solid jump on uh, some of these flying enemies. Laugh at the laughing door, and it will open for you. Oh, and that's where the uh, last piece of the key is. Ah, 
Ah, why are people messaging me? <laughs> it is time once again for a million fanfares, hey, team. Also, lots of laughter. So now I need to find the place that, um, where we were assembling the key. Naturally, I don't remember at all where that is. I also noticed that we're still getting red experience. So maybe there's something for like level 20 or something. Like there, there are so many doors, and I never can remember which one is which. But this is the correct door. So let us complete the key. Painting of a big key? No, no, it's a big key. Hey, what do you think this is? It's a real unusual painting. And there's a large keyhole. Can I take the key? Apparently not. Apparently it is just we complete this this picture and uh Hopefully now we can open the uh Oh my goodness, turn it, please. Still wonder what that is, though. So. I can't, uh... I was hoping I could flip the world there, but apparently not. But listen, sometimes you just have a joke that is just stuck in your head. And like, even if the joke itself has stopped being funny, you just cannot stop laughing regardless. Ah, uh, there's a crying door over here too. just goes to a different place. So we're going to need to come here with a crying mushroom as well, but uh... I want to keep the laughing effect up right now because of the... I think it was a laughing door uh, on the mountain. Hey, buddy. Oh, really? I don't want to be a sad cat, but at the rate that we're going here, I'm kind of running out of lives, and that will make me sad. Like, the- and the, the thing is, the only effect of running out of lives is you get sent back to the title screen. So any unsaved progress is gone. But like, what's the point? Like that, that just seems like a mechanic that uh, is there to be annoying. And like, if there is a cheat code for more lives, I will definitely hear it. Yeah, so I'm not finding the uh, the locked door at all. Oh, there it is. 
And so I don't know if we've been through these doors in a bit. Yeah, in this day and age, maybe uh, grim, but uh, this game does not come from this day and age. Also, hello. Get in the door. Also, yeah, dying took off our uh, our laughing state. Large keyhole complete. Oh boy. More jumping puzzles. Fortunately, along with the power of save states, I have the power of this parasol. I can actually, like, aim my jump. Is there a date for the re-release of this? Not to my knowledge. I actually did hunt this for, for a lock chest. Great. Like, I did check um, before we started uh, with, uh, with this game, and uh, there still isn't a release date. Like, I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, I do hope that uh, that it comes up soon. Oh, there's a fence there. Alright, I think that's all we can do here for now. see if this uh this emulator takes Jeez. code converter it's code converter I'm guessing that code converter is like I can put it in game shark or uh uh the other one action replay codes but yeah if if I start bumping into uh, lives limits I might just use a uh, like if you if there is not a um, If there is not like an in-game code, then I would probably end up using um, a cheat device code because, like, I have I have played through this game twice already, and like lives have been a thing every time. And it's either I use ow, it's either I use lots of save states, or I use. Like game shark codes or something. Oh. Thank you. Didn't miss anything really. Um. I should probably... There we go. Well, also, I might want to have the overnight projector here. So I don't have to have the full OBS window popped up. There we go.
Let's see if we can get... One more show here. That's a crying mushroom. And let's use the power of the crying mushroom to open that crying door and then possibly start crying. No, the the part like I I don't uh, blah, words. I don't know if you were here when I was saying it, but the punishment for running out of lives is you get bumped back to the tile screen. Any unsaved progress is gone. You want some word soup with your word salad? I don't know, I, I might need more diapasons. Not sure what this path is for. The game doesn't remember your health. Oh, that's good. And the only in-game health fixes... There are two in-game health fixes. You can also visit the 100-year-old man at any time and he'll bring your health back to full. Another event done. Oh, that's a lot of food, actually. Including two pieces of cheese. I think that brings us up to six. All right. I don't know. I don't remember if there was a crying door on the mountain. There might have been. Oh, jeez. Three point of blue health of uh, blue experience. Also, I got the new Paper Mario that's near door for Switch for fun. So if it gets codes for my Switch laptop, I'll use them. I don't understand what that means. Alright, we're gonna wanna... Um, I'll, I'll leave the parasol, off, parasol on for now, but it's probably gonna co cause more harm than good here. Yeah, I'm not sure. Your laptop is a switch. And that's fine if your laptop wants to be a switch. That's fine if it wants to be a top or a bottom. That's also fine. Oh my goodness, please. Tell him to jump on the thing. Oi. This game does have a life zero, by the way. Like, if, if I were to save now, I would say I have two lives.
Oh, right. Thing is, I was coming through here because I had a mushroom effect and now I don't. Well, that sucks. Uh, that's not the way to the mushroom forest. And now we gotta sit through another loading screen. Oh wait, no! I completed the the task for Death Fruit Juice. I just haven't turned it in. <sighs> Something I wanted to press. So we gotta sit through another loading screen. <laughs> I just realized I hadn't turned in Death Fruit Juice. I think it's these guys over here. There we go. Yeah, you did it! The forest is safe again, thanks to you. Here, we'd like to give you something for all your hard work. This is for crushing all the fruits of death. And this is for getting rid of the monsters, plus one vitality. Now the flowers will be able to bear fruit again. Uh, oh, you want to know more about the phoenix I dropped you? Well, a long time ago, the that bird was so majestic they called they called him the master of the skies. I couldn't tell that from the way he looks now, but it was a long, long time ago. He hasn't been able to leave the mountain since the storm started up. Maybe if we get him his favorite food, he'll perk up a bit. The phoenix's favorite food? It's the bunk flower. They grow in lava caves. We can get about five of those. The phoenix's favorite. There it is. But the phoenix's nest is beyond the lava caves. So if you're planning on going to see him, you have to be real careful. Don't forget, the phoenix's favorite food is the bunk flower. Well, that sounds like a load of bunk. No, actually, that sounds like I will have to deliver a load of bunk flowers to the phoenix to, you know, restore their vitality. And yes, I gained one hit point. Specifically, once this finishes loading, I gained one maximum hit point. I now have five health. Put the parasol on. Just get myself laughing. I am like 99% sure there was a laughing girl right there. Fortunately, there's nothing that deals 1d4 damage. Everything either deals one point of damage or just kills you. Hey, J Pop, how you doing? Right, I uh, I hadn't pointed out uh, about the uh, community challenge yet because uh, when I started the stream, nobody was in chat, so I didn't bother. But uh, any as a reminder, anyone bearing doodads is going to be able to contribute those doodads toward the challenge for Archimegalo, where I will do a 12-person solo... Uh, 12-person... 12-world solo async multi-world. Work, work is gonna suck this week. It's, uh... 
How many uses is that? I think that's about 12. So it's gonna suck at a magnitude of 12. Coolio and his 11 twins. Now, the deceased crab is already doing that, uh, that gimmick. Because, like, his slots are all, like, named A Seas Crab, B Seas Crab, C Seas Crab, F Seas Crab, yes, I know what I said, L Seas Crab, like, and so on. Just. And each one seems to have a different personality. So I'm not going to be using that gimmick. I'm just going to be playing straight. Uh, I want to put on the fire. So that you don't bother me. Actually, wait on this ledge here. And just get catapulted up anyway. Okay, there's the laughing door. And I thought you'd never find me here. I'll have to make the next spot even harder to find. Well, you found Yen again. Yeah, there's nothing over there. Yeah, that, that has an insurmountable wall. Straight because most of us are not. Ah, uh, this ledge again. Yep. Oh, wait. Um... Now that we have the big key, should be able to open this door up here. Oh, and that's the Red Evil Pig Bag! So, a Stormy Pig Bag is clear. Stormy Pig Bag is clear. And Phoenix Mountain. So I'm going to save again here. This, uh, like he looks like a roadie or something, right? Also, I'm stuck up against them. Everyone freeze. This is a stuck up. That means knees are a rock. Are you okay, Grim? You're saying a lot of things that I do not understand. Actually, I'm gonna save again. It's for good measure. Trying to think if there was any other it was like that there are a lot of events that we have up right now. His knees and that kind of wind would be shaking from just oh, okay, now I understand. I comprestand and underhand. the event list. Mouse pig bag, the haunted pig bag. Which is true, which has feet and then run. This is the size of the swim. 
in Car Forest. It's a mysterious mushroom. I'm not really sure what that one is. I might actually just look it up. Oh, okay. That's not something that I can get yet. Get the broken fountain. Healing herbs, that's something that I can do. I didn't go seek, is still in progress. Still haven't finished leaf butterflies. What's a funga? Okay, that's not something that I can do. What is this? Great. Oh, great. Man's best friend, famous digger, some cheese please, I need 10 cheese for that. Something's cooking. thought of this. It seems a little obtuse, honestly. Uh, where the barrel rolls, I need to be able to swim. Uh, so something's cooking. For that, we're going to need to return to the watchtower area. Also, J pop, like, hopefully, hopefully, like, even if the week is definitely going to suck, that it's going to suck as minimally as possible. Actually, I'm gonna... I don't know if I still need this uh, laughing effect, I'm just gonna heal it off. And just to, just to show since some people weren't here, can't interact with that. But there was a, like a seed or something that uh, was not... oh geez. Was not there before. Oh my goodness, please. Oh, I can't grab onto that if I have the parasol on. That sucks. Put it back on because we're gonna need to make a jump to grab on to uh to a swing here. Flower seeds. Smash that off. So for something's cooking. bucket. I 
hopefully if I stand around here... So while we're on this screen specifically, we can collect the droplets. And apparently we can only collect each one- I definitely just phased through that. We can only collect each one once. And we need to collect three of them. Okay. That was lucky. Where is that last one? Oh, come on, really? Bucket of water of life. Oh, jeez. So now that we have the bucket of water and the healing herbs, we're going to be able to turn those in. We might be able to find something to do with those flower seeds, too. Do you want the flower seeds? Nope. You're not looking for the bucket of water, either. Sir? Press the correct button. That's the problem. You and I are friends now. I drank all the water in the bucket. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like they want me to build an archipelago or something. I can only do that if I have 50,000 doodads. Wait, wait. Um... You don't want the bucket of water, you want the healing herbs. Healing herbs? You went to Phoenix Mountain and found them? It's a miracle you're still alive. Well, at least Baron's wounds should heal him. Now all he needs is some good food and rest. Speaking of good food, there is nothing that can beat the taste of the fruit from the Tree of Knowledge. I wish I could have some of that fruit again. Delicious knowledge fruit. Okay, so who wanted the bucket of water? You want a bucket of water? I guess. Sir? There. Before the pigs came, the, the forest had plenty of flower seeds. Now all the flowers have withered away. I have a strange feeling that the evil pigs are not the only cause. 
Well, as it turns out... Plant a flower garden. Maybe you'll never eh, maybe you will never be able to see those flowers ever again. Up the water, no. Yeah, it sure is a view. I have. Yep. You need a bucket of water? Yeah. You don't. Oh, wait. Have I dropped into here yet? I forgot that you could drop in behind here. Oh, hi! Hey! Anyone there? The lantern went out and I can't see! Where'd the lights go? Well, I was trying to light the lantern by turning myself into fire here, but uh, apparently that's not the solution. I I think I know where the thief is. It's in the hole behind the mayor's house. Alright, so where do I need to... Put the fire out in the hundred-year-old forest. Okay. So we gotta go back to the Hundred Year Old Forest. Thief is pulling him as he's hiding in the walls. Since I'm here. Also, now that we have the funky parasol, maybe we can do some of that funky platforming that the game was trying to make us do uh, earlier. <laughs> oh, that just straight up hurts. Duly noted. So that is on the background layer. Oh, that chest was not there two seconds ago. That's rude. That's a hundred year old chest, we can open that. And I need to drop along to this branch.
<laughs> oh, and that's a Vitality Max. Also, where did the background go? Okay. Also, I wonder if I can just go... Now, apparently I cannot enter the, uh, the mansion from this side. just a matter of uh, finding the fire that uh, the game wants us to put out. Just somewhere in the forest. Oh! Yeah, I'm barking up the wrong tree. It's the... The fire that the pigs have, like the campfire that the pigs have, in like the actual, like... Alright, I know where I need to go now. I still want to see what's on the other side of this. Apparently nothing. There's a locked chest and a locked door. just easier that way. Also, I'm gonna turn off the uh, jewel of fire for now. I guess I need to actually like select it. It's a good thing that, like, turning off the Jewel of Fire while I am on fire does not cause me damage. I feel like that's something that this game would do. I'm currently at full health, so I don't need to have the old man restore my health. Wow, that was a good catch, actually. I think I still need leaf butterflies, too. Oh, goodness. This fire. <laughs> Alright. There was a baked yam in the fire. Well, there was a yam, and it got baked by the fire, specifically. that we have the yam. Is it your yam? Are you worried about a yam? You are worried about a yam. Wow, hey, you found it. Thank you so much. Oh, it's coming now. Hold my finger. 
No thanks. Seriously? It went the full distance. Alright. Eh, what a relief. I'm sorry, but I just couldn't help it. At so much gas, I felt like I was going to explode. Thanks a lot. By the way, I don't, I'm not quite sure what this is, but why don't you take it? I've been told it's something very unusual. More max health. Ah, nothing beats the smell of yams roasting in a fire. I mean, all that for a fart joke. And max health. I am not going to complain about the max health. The fart joke... not a fan. Okay, I think we might be able to do red plus blue. Okay, I see. It is something that I did not try. Obviously, or, or else, you know, we would have cleared this event. Also, this is not where I needed to go. We need to go back to the Mushroom Forest. So, we got blue powder from uh, the Leaf Slider. Now I'm up to seven now. Okay, I guess that does do two points of damage. So I, so I lied when I said that everything does either one point or kills you. The spikes do two points. Also, I can actually grab onto these while I have the uh, friggin' go away. Nobody likes it. So I can grab onto these. While I have the parasol, I just couldn't grab onto it while I had the parasol and the bucket. That was just too much for the game to handle. Also, I think the maybe goes like here. We are definitely progressing toward a full bar. Well, full arc. Oh, we found one of the one of the evil pig doors. We go save. So it is finally boss time, Mister Guy. And yes, I know that's Dracos thing. I do it as tribute. I'm now trying to steal his bit. Let's go. So here's how the bosses work. You find an evil pig bag, it opens an evil pig door within which is an evil pig. Whoa, how did you get in here? This area is off limits to all else except me, the stormy evil pig. The one and only master of the storms. It's not a place for little people like you. Now take you and your funky hair out of my sight. My storms create havoc for everyone. <laughs> All the better, I do as I please. These great storms are masterpieces. A gold bracelet? Why yes, gold is beautiful. What's the problem with collecting it? Behold the ferocious storm. I am the ruler here. Don't ever underestimate me. I'll see to it that you understand who's in charge here. So how this fight works 
is jump on the evil pig. And throw him into the bag. Fortunately, the um, oh, that was a that was a whiff. But yeah, fortunately, the whirlwinds do not hurt; they just kind of throw you around a little bit. But once the pig is in the bag, that's the end of the fight. So Phoenix Mountain should now be restored. Okay, so that is our first boss done. So now for the reason that we are actually uh, going through here, pig is in the bag. We go through the leaf slider. This is where we got the blue powder. We need to use that blue powder on one of the red flowers. And there just happens to be one right here. of extra lives. We still have the blue powder. I sure don't. However, is the flower that I imbued with the powder still blue? can find where that flower is. Nope, that was the one, and it's red now. Can't to get some flower tears. I need them to revive Charity Fountain. The problem is I don't really know how to get the flower tears. And I have an idea. That's not it. flower has started. Yeah, I'm I'm crying too here. Having to figure out uh, 
getting the blue powder again. I'm probably just gonna have to take the, the slider again. And that just takes me here. Also, it's great how, like, all of the chests in this place are all in very precarious places. And getting pretty close to ten levels, ten ten levels of green. And then all we need to do is find whatever the green gem is. And you're still looking for leaf butterflies. The leaf butterflies are still a pain in the face to get. Alright, so taking the slide again does give us blue powder again. I'm going to save state here. I use the blue powder and turn this flower blue. Throw it against the red one and nothing happens? going to throw it at the um, at the flower that was up there but like it decided to just kind of throw itself off the edge it should respawn at the very least now Oh my goodness, can you not just... Oh my goodness. I need to find somewhere where there are two of them close by. There are two of them close by here. I'm going to use the blue on this one. And then just completely with the floor. There we go.
Well, that did something. I don't know what this did. Well, we've, we've turned... We've turned monochrome. Now, wasn't there someone asking about a mysterious mushroom? Maybe that's what we need to do. Uh, no, that's, uh... Makes Tumba. Where was it? If this lasts until you until you lose your next life, which is our last life at this point, it makes him move a lot faster. I'm sure. I'm sure this won't kill us at all. The important thing is that's another uh another quest done. So I think the move now is to go back to Phoenix Mountain now that the um now that the storm has subsided. Just use a charity wing to get there. Things should uh, be a little easier to navigate since we don't have 700 kilometer an hour winds. There's something there. I need to jump up from higher though. That looks like somewhere higher than I can jump from. Also, this this jump is a lot more manageable when the wind isn't blowing. Bongo! thousand AP. And that's just a chest that we can't open yet. there's anything over in this direction. Yeah. 
And the answer is no. They're just the beginning of the one. You know what? That's fine. Also, the pigs don't seem to be respawning. They may only respawn in areas that, uh, that are currently, uh, occupied territory, let's say. I don't know if I jumped on both. You might, you might notice that I've been going out of my way to jump on those. The, the reasoning will be clear later. Did I get that one? I was trying to get it all the way down. Done with your tunnel, buddy? You sure are. Let's see, the famous stair. That's complete. Let's see where this tunnel goes. It goes to one piece of cheese. This industrious cheese mining gnome, I guess. That was cool. Huh. Oh my goodness. Game over. And yep, that bumps us back to the title screen. So I'm gonna need to remember to do the famous digger again. And possibly also some of those other jumps on the, uh, on the mountain. But this seems like a good time for a break. So y'all can take a moment, get some of the drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall return to the mountain and uh, reclaim some of this uh, lost progress. And maybe I'm going to be using a code for lives because that's a little punishing. Like, there's, there's honestly no reason for this life system. It is an antiquated notion. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 